So I added a realistic difficulty to Minecraft. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, it is Jay Cabone, and today I'll be showing you off a data pack I made that adds a realistic difficulty to the game. This makes it so that punching trees doesn't work, you have to drink water, and no more carrying bazillions of items at a time. Please sub and like, because it would help out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first feature is that mine blocks and dropped items don't stack, so if you see we mine a piece of dirt, they don't stack. Take up two spots. If you have two oak planks, boop, sticks. They will actually stack because you crafted them in that stack. So, inventory is not affected by this, it's just the outside item. Alright, number two is that, see these spots in your inventory? can't use them if you don't have a backpack. The way you craft a backpack is in the crafting table. You can even do it in your own inventory if you want. One chest, boop, you, it looks like a barrier, but you get a backpack, a chest for your bed, put in your ninth slot of your inventory. Once you put it there, you get all the space, which will be really useful when you have to carry all blocks separately. Alright, number three is that normal logs cannot be converted into planks anymore. It works with all of them, or doesn't allow you to do it with all of the planks. So there. Alright, but this does work with uh, stripped wood, but it's a one-to-one -one ratio because technically if you have one block of birch log, like one meter of it, you're not going to be able to make four meters of plank. So now you only get one meter, cubic meter. It works with all of them, including the new wood types. Alright, the next feature is that when you look at a tree without an axe, you'll get an insane amount of slow falling, so that means that you can't break a tree with your fist. But if you hold an axe, you can mine it fine. Alright, next feature is that you can craft a basic axe with two sticks, a piece of flint, and a string. You'll get a basic axe. Alright, the next feature is that uh, when you break grass, it has a 15% chance to drop itself. And then you can turn two grass into one string. Alright, the next feature is that you have a thirst bar. This will decrease every minute, a uh, maximum at 20. And here are the side effects. Uh, at the 14 minute mark, you get slowness 1. 8 minute mark, you get mining fatigue 1. 6 minute mark, you get slowness 2 and weakness 2. 4 minute mark, you get nausea 1 and hunger 1. And at the 1 minute mark, you start to die. So, And then if you want to refill, just drink a water bottle or a potion. And you'll refill by 1. And then hot biomes, such as deserts, savannas, the nether, decrease your thirst quicker. Alright, the next feature is that herd animals such as cows, sheep, pigs, and horses have sort of a herd behavior where if you attack one or one takes damage, they sort of flee and they get this little fire particle to make them look like they're fleeing, which makes it more realistic that Herds of animals will run away if one gets attacked, and you can see it works with all of them. Well, there's no- oh, there's some pigs. Horses. And sheep. This feature is that chickens, because they're pretty hostile, or they're a little bit aggressive in real life. Um, if you attack one, all the other nearby chickens will get the- will fully heal and get these little aggression dots above their head. And they will come to attack you. And then- you can either kill the chicken and then they'll stop being aggressive because they're dead. Or, if you hit the top part, you can calm them. If you're within two blocks of either a cave spider or a spider, you'll get the slowness buff, making it, like, making you freeze in place, sort of. Which makes spiders' mobility a lot more hard to deal, harder to deal with. Cut. See enough to play this in hard mode. Spiders have a random chance, normally in Minecraft, to spawn with either regeneration, strength, speed, or invisibility. So if they spawn with spawn with regeneration, 
they become a tarantula, which gives them a poisonous uh, poisonous hairs. Which, if when you get affected by their arachnophobia, you also get blinded. Alright, so the next feature is that if you go above Y level 200, you'll get altitude sick, which gives you the nausea effect for 15 seconds. Either raining, thor thundering, or snowing, you'll have the snow a slowness effect. Cold biomes such as a snowy tundra or a taiga, you get weakness and mining fatigue. Unless you are wearing a full set of leather armor, then the effects will go away. Fishing, instead of catching the item raw cod or raw salmon, you will catch the actual mob, a salmon or a cod, or a pufferfish or a tropical. But this may be a good thing, you just have to watch out for catching a pufferfish, then you'll get poisoned. Cut. So polar bears, every minute-ish they're in water, they can either catch raw cod or raw salmon. Really kind of disease filled, so if you hit a bat and you're within two blocks of them, which you'll get poisoned for 30 seconds. Cut. And lastly, the base random tick speed is slightly increased by 30%, so that means that fires burn a little bit quicker, crops go a little bit faster, and generally just things that have a random chance of occurring happen a little faster. Alright, that is it for this data pack. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!